Hi YouTube, hello, how are we all doing? Hello, hello, hello. Well, Hotton Castle, here we come. Hey, been looking forward to this one folks. Uh, it's going to be a good one, the weather's looking great. So I'm just off now to uh, head towards Selby for the night. So we've got a night there in the George Hotel. And then um, we're heading up to Scotland tomorrow. Uh, Ray's already there, Ray um, met Paul Abraham and he's, uh, they're already at the George by the looks of it, having a pier. <laughs> so um, should be a good trip. So I've got a ride to Selby, should take me about two, two to two and a half hours. It's saying I'm going to get there at 4.27, time we're on now, half two, so it's reckoned it's two hours. I think it'll be a little bit more than that to be fair with traffic. So it's been a good trip, this one. I'm looking forward to this. Um, we planned this last year sometime because the last meet and greet obviously we still had certain restrictions and what have you whereas this time it should be a bit bit better for us plus it's uh i get to give this a good uh a good run anyway i've not uh not ridden this with a load of weight in it yet she definitely feels different to what she did before <laughs> got the panniers on i've got uh top box on got my loma bag on so um Should be interesting. I'm looking forward to this. This will be a good test for the bike. I've only really um, ridden this. I've done a bit of distance. I mean, I've been to you know, been to uh, been to Wales and it went up with uh, Wayne in it. Met um, Neil up at uh, Penrith. But I've not really done massive. Not done massive miles. I've done nearly a thousand miles in it now. <laughs> But I've not really spent a good good deal of time on it, you know. It's been sort of short bursts here and there. But I'm, I was watching the um, Craig's review what most of us on. Uh, he's got the manual version. Honda have loaned it to him for a month. And I noticed the first thing he said when he got on the bike was, oh my God, this seat is amazing. And I've got to be honest with you, the seat on this is fantastic. You know, it's so comfy. Seating position's great. Just what you want, really. Just what the doctor ordered, in fact. Um, the seating position's great. Your legs are fine. I've still haven't got used to this QWERTY keyboard down here yet. You know, <laughs> we should get there. So oh, uh, the DCT, I'm getting used to very, very quickly. It's working lovely now. We're just heading off into the uh, Mersey Tunnel, folks. Here we go, Wallace Tunnel. Anyway, I wonder how Ray got on this morning. I'll hand you over to Ray, let's see what his trip is like going up. So today, I'm heading off to Motorway Services. I'm gonna meet Paul Abraham and then we're going to head off towards Selby. The reason I'm not with the other Paul, the usual Paul, is that he's still at work. He doesn't get off shift until 2.30 um, this afternoon, I think. So he's setting off from home about then. He should be at Selby for half four, five o'clock. Um, Paul Abraham and myself, we should get there somewhere between two and three, and then we'll uh, get checked in. There's a few other people turning up at the same hotel. So we've got a chap called Alan coming up from um, Dartford. We've got the uh, Broadhurst. They, they live just a, a few miles away. Um, so with Paul and that, there'll be six of us. There's a seventh chap going to be turning up a little bit later. Uh, I'm not sure if he's booked. He only, he only got in touch with me last night to see if he could come along. And I've obviously said, yeah, I'm not going to say no. Um, and then tomorrow, when we set off, we are going to be going to um, High Force in the Peak District on the way. And we'll be meeting uh, a chap coming in from Newcastle. So that'll be eight of us. We're going to go over the um, Hartside Pass onto the motorway at Penrith. 
up past Gretna Green and then it's a, a left turn off the motorway to get to um, Hodham Castle campsite where there will be a few more people. The last time I checked how many people had, had booked to stay, there were 19 altogether. Um, now that's from an email about two months ago. So I've got routes set up for Saturday and Sunday. One of them to go out to Selkirk and come back along the, the north side of St Mary's Lock. And then the other one is the Three Locks route. Right, so here we are then, the services. I, I, I know I'm early. I, I got going a little bit earlier than I normally would today. Someone on a bike here, but uh, there's actually two people, one bike that's not going to be full. Cost me 16p shy of £36. That was to do something like 190 miles, I think. We're doing something like 800 this time around. So you're going to be looking at 72, £144 for fuel. That's 50% more than what I would have paid last year. So petrol prices hadn't gone up. I'd have been looking for something like 100, 100 pound for fuel. Now I'm looking at maybe 145, 150. Uh, it all adds up. But when I did my budget, I put in 32 pound per tank full. Right, you see where that white van is over there? Yeah. We're, we're going to turn in there and go across the front of the pub. Yeah. There's a, a cruiser bike there. We'll turn left at that. And then we'll uh, ride across the square. The parking's around the back of the hotel, There's, you'll see an alleyway there, near where the Black Horse sign is. You'll see uh, an alleyway. Down there is where we take the bikes. We are early, but I'm going to see if um, we've got our rooms ready. It wasn't a bad ride at all, was it? Yeah, no. The pub I've got in mind tonight, I went to last time, so I'm hoping John and Donna want to go there again. Um, it's just down there. And they do fruit beers and everything. Let's go and get me documents, eh? Yeah, you, you, you go for it. Well, folks, appears Ray had a good trip up anyway. Right, so we're now in Liverpool. Coming to the end of the uh, tunnel. It's always busy Liverpool, isn't it? The joys of uh, going through Liverpool in rush hour traffic. <laughs> Satellite lights. So, folks, it reckons I'm going to get here at half past four. But I hope you enjoyed the uh, our Scottish Hours tour. Uh, I still had <laughs> made me laugh. We still had a couple of comments saying, uh, <laughs> "Thought you had a Honda now, not a BM." <laughs> so it's, uh, but yeah, no, it was filmed before, filmed before I picked up the Honda. It's just I've not, sadly I've not had time and work commitments to do the editing of the of the trip. So, but now of course, obviously it's all done. So I'm getting used to the Honda. To be fair, you do notice with Hondas, uh, you tend to just get on them and ride them doesn't take you long to uh, get used to it. The BM took me absolutely ages to get used to. This was a breeze to be fair. Uh, there's a few little bits. There's a, I need to do something with the screen. It's a little bit windy. Might need to change the screen up slightly but keep forgetting I had a massive scream on the uh, on the Beamer and of course it was a lot a lot on the front of the Beamer as well you know. It's a posh looking Frankie and Benny, isn't it? 
Right folks, anyway, I've got uh, I've got a couple of hours of motorway section now, so I'm going to knock cameras off for a bit. I shall catch you later on. Hiya folks, uh, welcome back. Um, we've just entered Selby. Well folks, we're here. Well, the bike's are here, so I've got the right place. I'll just need to get myself checked in. Cheers, Paul. You alright, mate? It was a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you know what, actually? It does like this is the wrong way, right? You look a little bit like Freddy Krueger's gone wrong. I don't like being Freddy Krueger. That's what he takes out of his pocket. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the air! Do you, do you know what he's done? I'm not going to go to sleep. He's, he's, he's took his bike to the jet wash and found it was full, so he's gone for the car wash instead. <laughs> I thought you were joking, mate. No, no, why would I joke about things like that? See what we've got to put up with, folks. Hey. <laughs> You're sleeping with me tonight, Paul. I'm going to cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit coarse. Your fingers will get caught a bit often. I'll tell you what, Paul. I'll tell you what, I hope you haven't got a wig for your pubic hair as well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere, can you? <laughs> yeah, there's the Brody bikers. I'm <laughs> buggered off quick, look. You videoing me as well? You video you, you heard yeah, a bit video of me. Hey! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Point. 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 Yeah, yeah. Brody Bikers. Dennis and Jones. Who's, who's, who's Dennis? Dennis Ray. Ray, get your nasher out. <laughs> That's going in video. That's going in video, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. He is alright. He is alright. He doesn't get out much. <laughs> Oh God, I'm going to use this as evidence. 